Hey, 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 good morning, y'all. This is Jan Ragnarud, founder of chaosmap.com. We are back on here today, and uh, I wanted to really uh, kind of compel you to listen and watch this today. So the, the headline that I'm using right now is, uh, let me adjust the mic here, is basically the best uh, traffic source uh, like in the world ever. I forget exactly how I titled this, but essentially... I'm going to take you through a, a two-step approach here and share with you the best traffic source in the world, and I mean ever, right? And so it's a pretty, a pretty bold claim here, but you'll see what I mean here in uh, just a few minutes. But before we do that, and by the way, thank you again for coming in here on the Media and Marketing on the podcast. We are live, of course, on Facebook, and we head on out to YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter, and we're Pinterest, and we're... We're just loving the distribution model here with the power of technology here today. And by the way, you can do the same thing yourself. But uh, there is another broadcast on that, uh, actually a couple, uh, that you may want to go back and check out uh, on the Gary V 10X model uh, and also how to blow up your content like a publishing media house, right? So that's a few episodes back. But uh, we're looking here at Earth, the wonderful Earth, our planet. By the way, if you want to check out our planet on Netflix, just came out. Just loving those series there. All right, let's get back to you, however. And uh, I'm going to share this two-step or this two-pronged sort of approach to explaining uh, the best traffic source ever. And uh, it starts out with the buyer's journey and content delivery. And we talk a lot about content and messaging and uh, and communication. And by the way, there's a hint uh, in that, but uh, I digress. We're going to get back to this uh, uh, this presentation today. Uh, so uh, what we're looking at here is the buyer's journey and content. This is from HubSpot here, I believe. But ultimately, uh, you've seen many of these diagrams out there, the awareness stage, the consideration stage, the decision stage, right? So when a customer comes into your world, they may know of you or they may not, right? Well, there's, there's basically stages to this, right? So there's a sort of workflow in how this behavior works uh, across multiple platforms, uh, multiple angles here in terms of content, etc. So basically in the awareness stage, which is the first area that I'm going to discuss here, uh, basically, the prospect, uh, prospect here is experiencing and expressing symptoms of a problem or opportunity, right? Uh, by the way, if you want to go back to a presentation I made on Facebook ads and how to use the uh, problem uh, agitate solve model, uh, I think you'll really enjoy that. And by the way, if you want to learn more about Facebook and how this could apply for your business and uh, how to improve if you already are, go to fbadsreview.com. In fact, I'll be talking about that here today as well, um, fbadsreview.com, and uh, take a look. We're actually taking on a couple of clients right now uh, at the agency, so feel free to check that out. So back to the awareness stage, right? So they have a problem or symptom to try to solve. Well, what can you do here? Well, you can present an analyst report, a research report, ebooks, etc. You know, you have expert content, white papers, educational content, all of these things that really uh, let them know that you are the expert in your field. And the keyword here is you, right? And, and a you doesn't mean you, the individual, that could be you, the organization. So all of these things apply in the awareness stage. In consideration, now we're drilling down a little bit. They're getting to know you a little bit. They have clearly defined and sort of given a name to the problem that they're, uh, that they're, they're seeking, right? So they're getting closer now to understanding uh, what that means for them, but also what you can do for them. So then you would supply things like expert guides, uh, live interactions, even, so, of course, webinars and podcasts like this one. Very, very favorable in this context. Video, of course, never-ending videos, right? <laughs> Um, comparison data and matrixes like that, including white papers. So that is beautiful and uh, uh, beautifully done and beautifully uh, made available to them from you in the consideration stage. So we talked about awareness, step one, step two, consideration stage. And by the way, uh, today I'm going to talk about the best traffic source. And um, I'm going to get back to that as I uh, kind of explained that from the top. I just want to take you through this model here so you understand what that means when I say the best traffic source. All right, so that's consideration stage, a decision stage, the final step here. 
now they've decided that they absolutely know what the, uh, their problem is and what the opportunity is, and that they um, are close to deciding on a strategy, a method, approach, or, or basically a vendor to help them, right? And uh, that vendor may be exactly what you uh, are offering and have available. Uh, just like I uh, mentioned just a few minutes ago, if you go to fbadsreview.com, you'll see what we're doing there and uh, uh, and how you can take your uh, Facebook ads to the next level. Now, decision stage here, number three, here's where you can add content like vendor comparison. Talked a little bit about that in stage two, right? Product comparisons, case studies, big here, right? Case studies, really think about that. Uh, trial downloads for you know SaaS software, very uh, very typical model here. Product literature, of course, and live demos. Nothing like live demos, and and also personal connection here, right? I mean, personal connection. We advocate that all through these stages to not show a faceless uh, corporate logo, right? But you know, real people behind a, a real organization that makes a difference um, to the marketplace, right? So live demos, big setting appointments, etc. Uh, is a, a, a great way to kind of handle this stage here. So we talked about step one, awareness stage. Step two, consideration stage. Step three, decision stage, right? So what does this have to do with the best traffic source in the world? All right. Well, big reveal here today, guys and girls. The biggest traffic source in the world, it's you. Okay, you're going, okay, on I... I got you. This was like a huge teaser. This is a big letdown. Well, actually, no. I want you to really think about this. And, you know, this is the most profound podcast I think I've put out here so far in terms of speaking uh, about traffic sources and authority building, trust building. The no like, and trust factors are an absolute must, always have been. But today, with all the noise and all the thumb scrolling and trying to stand out and make a difference, it is all about you making a difference in the customer's prospects or patient's lives through showing you as the authority, you as the trusted source, you as the provider of solutions to their problems and creating opportunities for their enhancement, right? So yes, it's about you in the sense of creating all this content, right? Making that available to your marketplace, which is the ultimate traffic source of creating that unique sort of positioning in the marketplace. And then allowing your customers or your prospects initially as they move through this funnel to see that, to experience that, to really get on board with this so that ultimately they become, you know, 1000% if I can use that advocates for your business totally loving what they're getting in terms of all the opportunities that it presents for them uh, but also that they become advocates and, and almost partners uh, with you right so the best traffic source is you now of course the next question is going to be Jan I totally thought that you were going to come up with this like amazing you know uh, one place to go to to get traffic well it actually doesn't matter what the best traffic source is if you don't have this together, right? Because then it becomes a natural part of your research because you'll know through these analyst reports, research reports, ebooks, etc., you'll know who your perfect customer is, your perfect audience. You know, if you were to list out your top, you know, 100 perfect list, uh, your dream list, or, you know, what are the top 10 clients that you'd like to get into your funnel in the next 30 days, right? Well, what would you present to them? What's your offer? What's your message? What's the hook? All of these things become part of that discussion, but initially you need to understand you and what you present in terms of that content, in terms of these solutions, and then use that research and that analysis to use the best traffic source. For instance, it may be Facebook, right? It should be Facebook because it is an incredibly powerful platform. Uh, it is, of course, hyper-targeted, meaning you have the ability to just drill, drill, drill down into that target market. It could be AdWords. In fact, it could be a combination here. But the best traffic source doesn't matter if you don't have your act together on this back end here, which means you've done your target analysis in terms of that audience, right? You know what they're looking for. You prepare that material. You have data available. You're pushing this out in the awareness, consideration, decision stages at that appropriate time, right? So we talk about the right time, the right place, the right message, right? 
all of these things, then that becomes the ultimate traffic source. That is the best traffic source because really it's not about volume at that point. It about, it's about quantity, oh, sorry, quality, not quantity, right? That's what I meant to say. Um, and that's what you're aiming for. And that becomes the best traffic source because it's the highest converting. So you're not actually getting in a million you know, visitors, right? You're getting in 10,000 or 1,000 and you're converting at the back end at a very high conversion rate because of the fact that you now have presented materials and data and content ultimately at the right place at the right time during the right stage here, right? So the uh, classic scenario here is of course the dating example. You don't want to go for the kiss the first night, right? So it's a pretty straightforward deal and plus your CPMs, everything that you're doing in terms of any paid ad traffic is going to really go down because you're actually not going for the, the cold conversion out the gate, but uh, you're actually um, you know, presenting the data to warm up and nurture that relationship. So I hope this has been helpful. Short broadcast here today. We have a lot of exciting guests coming up this next week. So keep listening, keep watching and think about this and create this as your best traffic source. Okay, guys and gals, I appreciate it and have a great day, evening or night. Thank you.